today marks the 20th anniversary of I feel like this is so kind of like dark today marks the 20th anniversary of one of Haiti's famous journalists that was murdered on April 3rd 2000 um, his name is Jean Leopold Dominique Jean Dominique died when I was 15 or 16 and it was the year that I traveled actually I was 16 it was the year that I traveled to stay in the United States I was in this class called Sugon, which is going to be equivalent to the 10th grade if you are in the United States um, I remembered that day I am really happy that I'm yet to celebrate his life because for the last 20 years of um, my life every time this day came I was uncontrollable sad sobbing crying not being able to um, deal with the fact that Chandomini died um, today I honor him I'm happy like I didn't realize that we were April 3rd but when I woke up this morning like and I checked my Facebook and one of my friend had tagged um, a post on she had a tag post and it was pictures of him and initially I started to initially I became sad and I, you know I just started to think about him and especially because the person who tagged her said in the post it's been 20 years Rando, since you died and so much impunity that we have had since your death give me a second I believe that the gardener is here so much impunity that we have had on your death give me a second yeah so much impunity that's why the guy said he said it's so much impunity that we had had to deal with since you died and it just made me sad you know for a few for a few it made me sad for a few but then I just I said you know what I'm going to celebrate your life Jean -Do. Um, today I'm going to celebrate your life through the work that I've been doing um, for those of you who might just not be familiar with him he is a um, agronom I write it in English but Jean Dominique became by default a journalist one of Haiti's top journalists one of Haiti's best journalist I grew up listening to him my father listened to Radio Haiti every day at seven o'clock in the morning they used to diffuse the news at six o'clock then they would diffuse the news at seven o'clock in the morning and then on the afternoon he had a show it was Fasa Opinion. so growing up father drove us to school and in the car it used to be myself I used to be sitting in the passenger the front passenger in the back was like my younger sister and two of my cousins who sat in the back father would drive us to school now um, I'm the one that he drove last because um, by the time that you know Jean Dominique died I went to Coco with me so um, my father would drive my sister he would drive my cousins and then he would drive me last right he would drop me so I got to listen to all the seven o'clock the morning news I got to listen to all the seven o'clock because we left our house at 6 45 so we got the end of the six um, the six o'clock journal and then we would wait for Jean -Dou. and you would always hear his voice and he would always say bonjour um, Bonjour Jean, bonjour Michel, and then they will start the news. Oh my God, I hope I'm not gonna cry. I hope I'm not gonna cry. Um, so that morning, I smile because I'm celebrating his life and I don't wanna cry about it. That morning, the gardener is here. Ed. I hope you guys are not going to pick up. My father is literally sitting here. I know he's done, but he's entertaining his guests. And the gardener just came in. My parenthesis, my mom is doing a lot of like um, agricultural work. So she literally went and cut off all her trees and she's replanting the trees and she's doing a lot of work in the um, in her, you know, her home. 
so anyways so um that morning my father but they were always on time i'm talking about the morning news was always on time like which i know and um that morning you know we left the house of course we left the house 6 45 so by the time we got to um monje jnc for those of you who are familiar with haiti and um it was already six seven o'clock in the morning seven o'clock in the morning the radio station my father kept you know my father hold on my father kept um give me a second yes so seven and seven o'clock in the morning my father kept like you know going back to the station back to the station and um no jean d'eau and seven five seven oh five no jean d'eau and then you know we are asking ourselves like what's going on because like when i tell you at the dot seven o'clock you always heard jean dominique so it was kind of like what happened you know what i mean because it was always 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 at the dot right it was always at the dot seven o'clock in the morning so i believe like by 7 10 7 15 my father switched off and i believe that he switched off to radio metropole okay and metropole was giving the news like he, they were diffusing their own news and then i remembered i will never 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 forget the guy who was talking on his radio station stopped like he was doing his own like he was diffusing the news and then he just stopped and then he said oh my and then he said i think he said something to the effect that oh my god oh my god oh my god and then he and then he stayed quiet he didn't say anything for a little bit and then he said nous fait apprendre une très 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 mauvaise nouvelle nous fait apprendre une très 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 mauvaise nouvelle d'assemblée d'assemblée que collègue nous Jean Dominique attaqué le tiril i will never forget now we were in Crissois, right and my father was going to take the route like he usually takes a lot of like cut cut through route so it was going to be like we were in the back of Kishwa and then we were going to take like I really I'm bad with the um, name of the road so I can't really um, explain it to those of you who um, probably will remember Haiti like and um, he was driving but he was about to you know like go up one um, and a little mountain because okay and then he just stopped like he couldn't drive and then we all in the car we were like what what and then he just stopped he, he just legit stopped the car in the middle of the road he couldn't continue to drive it was the worst day and still today like i can't compare this news this event I can't compare it with anything like at 15 at 16 this is something that mark me for the rest of my life the death of Jean Dominique mark me and I am certain that this is one of the main reason that I turn around and I became the woman that I am because Jean Dominique has been a great part of my life through his microphone through his microphone jean dominique has been i remember it after he died i was still not a kid but you know in the haitian culture definitely a kid so um at that point you know um they still you know it's 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 one of the heavy cases that haiti had to face because it was political it was governmental and it was an attack that came from the government themselves. Now you have to um, you have to um, know that Jean Dominique died at I believe if not in his 60s then in his 70s. So that means that he outlived the Duvalier regime and he died under a government that he supported. Jean Do died under a government that he supported. Um, you know we could turn this into politics but we're not 
um, I hope in my lifetime, what I do hope is that through the work that I do, that I that He continues to live through me. Um, I hope that because a lot of time I like to talk to Him, you know, even though He's passed, I love to talk to Him. And what I say to Him, I say, Jean Do, can you believe that I too am a journalist? I like to say to him that can you believe that I too am doing a communication work can you believe that I too have become a journalist by default because you know yeah I do YouTube and yeah we can talk light um, light topics but for the most part here on YouTube I talk you know pretty much heavy topics and for me it's kind of like um, you know like look at this I'm doing, I'm continuing the work that one of Haiti's greatest leaders had done. You know, I'm continuing this work that, you know, Jean Do did. And I just, Jean Do, I know, you know, may, your, may the people that who murdered you, may they never rest, may they never find peace within themselves. May whoever contributed to having, because the reality is, I don't believe that he died, he's dead. And I know you guys are going to be like, well, because I believe in reincarnation. And there are certain people that I've seen in my life that, especially around that time, that when I look at their life and I, when I look at their path, um, I have a acquaintance, you know, when I look at him, when I talk to him, I say, this is, this is the reincarnation of Jean-Dominique, twice as fierce, twice as hard, you know, I would never say that I'm your reincarnation, but through the work that I do, we are your reincarnation, so there is no such thing as them trying to shut you down. There is absolutely no such thing. You are going to live through us. You are going to remain through us. Jean Dominique, may you continue to live through all of us who are continuing this fight for the country. I honor your life today and forever. I love you, blood of my blood. Oh my God. I can't even talk. Whew. I can't even talk. I can't even talk. Oh my fucking god, my mom is receiving somebody else. Okay. So, um, I'm becoming emotional. Um, if you are thinking about, you know, everybody that I think about, you know, when I think about, oh my god, family. You know, when you are raised, politically oppressed there are those of us who do not come from resting countries there are those of us there are those of us who come from countries where you are born either with a victim mentality or with a fighter mentality you are born oppressed you are born in a country where it's two ways that you're going to look at life you are either going to pick up your gun your machetes Whatever it is that you're going to pick up and motherfucker, you're going to be like, it's, it's this or that. Or you're going to be part of the victim mentality. Or you're going to be part of those who oppress. Right? I always tell people I'm not from that new cloth. I use social media because that is what is given. And I've always been very outspoken. I've always wanted to, I've always been extremely opinionated. So it came in handy. But best believe, if I had to be at that forefront, I was born a general. There is no going around that. Born to rule, born to lead. So today we honor Jean Do. And um, there is a great movie that I watched. I watched that movie when it came out. I watched that movie and I cried uncontrollably. Like, it's very i can't even describe to you the um you know it's like shadow had such an 
impact into my life right and this is what happens when you know a lot of times um, still today my mother always hold this against my father and says that you know you're the one who turned Rebecca into this political person because the reality is that my mother birthed me but my father gave me life even though these days you know me and him would go at it but my father really built that woman that you see in front of you that is all him that is all him through his talks that is all him through what he you know my father would be watching some interviews and would tell me to come down and sit with him and watch these interviews you know to um what he listened to in the morning and what he made me listen to not only listen to but then having those very important you know discussion with me afterwards so definitely you know he had it with all of us so you know i'm not his only child he had it with all of us but i've always been probably you know um, the one that it's, it's stuck with you know and given the fact that i've i am outspoken and everything so um you know um i am proud of the work that i do this morning when i woke up i said to myself you know as i was you know making my breakfast my breakfast i said to myself um will i ever say that i can fit the shoes of jean do you know can i compare myself to him because jean do was a guy that who was for the people you know he was extremely for the people of um of haiti so for me give me a second excuse me yeah so jean do was really a guy who was for the people you know he not only was for the people of haiti he stood with the peasant you know he stood with agriculture you know peasants like he did the groundwork he did he did jean dominique did all the work like he did the groundwork i mean a legend like this you don't shut people down there is no such things as shutting people down you cannot kill justice you cannot kill justice how do you kill justice there's no there's always the reincarnation always the reincarnation and i can't wait for those of us who are definitely going to continue this fight despite what you see despite what you may think despite what they may say to you there are those of us who will continue to fight that good fight yes. we have it in so, us we have it in us okay we are built for that we are most definitely we are built for that we are built for that so so this is what i had to say for today i don't want to talk too much about it because you know when i start to talk too much about it then it's kind of like you become emotional um i don't want to talk too much about jean do because then it's kind of like um i don't want to cry you know so thank you so much for listening to me um uh, you know i just wanted to chat with you um we are going to have i'm going to have a beautiful weekend um i have cultivated the the ability to you know just be comfortable and the ability to you know just live my life you know i was just saying to myself um you've definitely got to the point where you feel unapologetic about how you live you know because the way that i live now is the way that i've always lived 10 years ago when i came to haiti that's how i used to work i used to always sit drink my coffee there was nothing different the only thing different was that i felt guilty for the way that i was living because i always lived a little differently yes so i <clears throat> excuse me so i always lived differently i love this little spot because you see the 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 flowers hide me so people don't know if I'm sitting here and just filming my videos and doing the work that I'm doing um, so I've always like I, I was saying to you before like I've always lived like this but then I felt guilty you know I definitely felt a particular way because I, I remember around this time there was nothing different from the way that I'm living now what was different was the fact that I had a different lifestyle and people around me I was a lot younger you know and um, 
although you know I was always kind of like assertive but I was assertive in a very aggressive manner like I let other people's opinion get to me and make me question myself make me doubt myself in the sense like you know kind of like am I really doing what I'm supposed to be doing until you know I definitely I think stepping out of Haiti did wonders for me because it it helped me to see my work in a very very different light it helped me to see how important the work that I am doing is really and it also helped me to realize that you know we don't always have to have the same type of lifestyle oh the only thing bad about sitting here is the fumi you know so and this is bothering me like this but that's cool you see the things that I have to go through to film for you guys this is so annoying like I could see right here but I like to film yeah so um, right now I'm in a very different place in my life and not only am I in a very different place like what I'm realizing is that my Zen mode my Zen energy my grown and like like when you are in such a way where it's kind of like you've created such you know strength around you um it can upset people it really can because it's kind of like people might just feel like even with um whatever the relationship is you know i'm one of these people where it's kind of like if you come into my life and you're trying to upset my energy my peace then it's just kind of like it's a no bueno for me that's just the way it is um it's easier for me to cut people off it's easier for me to like just like block you know literally and figuratively so um yeah guys like i just wanted to talk to you you know like i said to you before you know it's it's gonna be like this for this moment i'm realizing that maybe my my work was maybe my work is done in terms of like the these heavy topic discussions like i feel like okay maybe because i really have not gotten any like type of energy to do these videos for you guys but that's cool because we can't always talk about other things you know we can always come here like i said to you i'm going to be doing some story times because i have stories for days i'm talking about some spooky some spooky stories that's you know i haven't really been wanting to do the story times because i've been saying to myself well how are people going to really take these stories if you're trying to like get investors to come to haiti because the reality is that these are not fake stories <laughs> these are absolutely not fake stories so i don't want to scare people off you know i don't want you to be like well you know i don't know about that like she's talking about like but i feel like you know sometimes i just feel like i might just in the late afternoon when it's kind of like relaxed i may just feel like okay you know I want to, um, to, you know, share a couple of story times of Haiti with you guys. So this is it. This is a pretty long video. It's cool. You guys have time to watch these videos. Um, I hope that you guys are well. I hope that you are doing very, very well. I am very happy. I am in a good mood. I am in a superb energy. Um, we cut a lot on my hair but even if we cut a lot it grew already so i'll come with you with a little hair regimen and tell you what i'm doing for my hair and i can do nothing but i'll show you the products that i'm using all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you got something got to know me a little bit through Jean Dominique, may you rest in power. Jean Thank you guys for listening to me and um, do not forget that I run consultation for those of you who are interested in doing business in Haiti. Whether it is a business that you run around or whether it is a project that you want to come to Haiti and do successfully, check out the description box below. All the information will be there. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you in the next.